Action. Jug, 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 jug. All right. This is officially Sunday morning, 9 a.m. <laughs> family update video. We're just all getting up, getting after it. And we've been wanting to make an update video for like six months. <laughs> we never get around to it. Actually, we tried one and it was unsuccessful because Rip was trying to mess yeah. up the camera. <laughs> At this point, we just have to go with the flow of whatever happens in this video. Things you may expect. A baby crying. A toddler crying. Uh, dogs heavy breathing. Dogs heavy breathing. All things you may have to deal with as a viewer of this video. I apologize in advance, but... There's nothing we can do about it. Let's start off with Ella Bean here. We got Ella, our daughter. We didn't really do an update after she was born. It's been <laughs> I pretty... guess we can talk about like, I had a natural birth. Yep. Unmedicated. Yeah. Are you all done? At the hospital. She, um, I actually was in labor the whole day. Uh -huh. And then. But. Well, I mean, I was. Like, only four hours at the hospital. Yeah. Which is nice because with Rip, we were in the hospital for 16. Eight, 16 hours before he came out. Mm hmm. 16. <laughs> I really. Live action hours. With the, epi <laughs> with the epidural, I really. You all done? I just stopped progress and progressing in labor. So we kind of decided to go against it. And uh, she was basically like right there. So yeah, she just. It was. <laughs> Well, I'm just saying she she was just like it was all yeah, it one was one swoop. process versus Rip. Rip was really close to uh, being born and then epidural, and then it was uh, like 13 hours yeah, from that. I don't know. So and I pushed for three and a half hours for him, like actively pushing, and oh, then yeah. for Ella crazy. it was like active push for what maybe like 25 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, way different. way different. So, also the second child, if you're wondering, if any of you out there are worried about your second, everything is just... Completely different. From so the different because, you know, you know how to change a diaper, you know how to handle an infant. <laughs> it's like a breeze in a lot of aspects. Then there's the challenge of the toddler and the... Uh, infant that comes into play quickly. Rip seems to love Ella. Loves her. As you just saw, he... Bye! Bye! He's saying bye to us. I'm waving right See now. See ya! He'll be back within a minute. <laughs> he loves her, but he also, you know, doesn't know his own limits. Sometimes, you know, you get a finger to eyeball. Or a foot to face. Yeah. Or things happen. truck on top of back. Hey. See, now what? Come here. Come sit with us. Yeah, why don't you sit? Maybe uh, maybe we take a delay the game while I grab a pouch you can keep going. Talk about um, 202. Yeah, 202. So it's busy, constantly going as you think. But um, honestly, Ella's been such a good baby. She really, I was manifesting a lot of having a very calm Zen baby, I called her. So I called her baby Zen for a while. Well, tell them how. Especially because we didn't is. know the name. Rip was so difficult um, as far as being a little one. At, literally since birth, he's been so hard. It's probably because of his name. <laughs> I feel like his name is really harsh in a way. So I feel like that's where he's like just a little harder. But, um,. No, I mean, he's so much fun, honestly, but he knows what he wants. How dare I even? And he will not accept a... anything less. And I feel like that's kind of like a oh, lot of yeah. you. <laughs> yeah. And Ella and I are very chill, go with the flow, and that's just the way we are. So we have the boys team, girls team. Yeah. yeah. Rip <laughs> and I are definitely very much alike. Impatient. Always moving. Always moving want to do what we want to do. Everybody's shocked like how you can make time for family or like even watching shows with me and stuff because I posted that the other yeah. day. And I'm just like, he just makes it happen. I don't know. He just carves out little parts. Well, but I feel like you're around so much. Also in the last year, our business has transitioned a lot to where the guys can handle a lot of stuff that I used to do. 
you yeah. know? And so that's, that's been key for me to get home and, you know, just live the family life. I, I really spend 95% of my work at now is just editing and making videos, which is really the most important part of our business. It's kind of the train that pulls the whole, or it's the, the locomotive, I don't know. Yeah, no, it. it's, you're right. It's pulling the whole train, is I the mean, videos. So. Yeah. That's not Mama. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the phone. But, uh. Yeah, so, I mean, the fact that you're able to balance out work and life with us is just absolutely amazing because I'm, I'm like, hey, I don't have anyone until, like, a certain time I need you. You're, like, you are there. Yeah. And even if you, like, come home and you're, like, kind of still editing, it's still helpful to have another adult. Yeah. <laughs> because sometimes there's always someone crying. And you do. Especially in the evenings. Oh you, Maddie does an amazing job, Mommy. Mm -hmm. she's, she's not just, like casually doing this maddie has data logged every single nap every i'm talking every single nap this child has taken it Since is born. data logged in this cell phone <laughs> same with her and like you just... she's very active with sleep consultants because he's a pretty uh, sensitive child. sensitive sleeper yeah he is and so like we take naps really serious in this house because if we just mess up one nap, it can mean three days of disrupted sleep, waking up in the middle of the night. And like we that. pay for it. The adults pay yeah. for it. She, Not him. She's pretty good. Ella's like whatever. But But that's the thing and, and everybody says like, Oh, you. your first is so different from your second because like Ooh. you're a different parent, which although I do agree, I definitely when I knew I was having a baby, I wanted to keep our same lifestyle of being busy and crazy and like yeah. doing things and Rip was just not a go with the flow kid. Like I tried so hard to just push his limits, push him yeah, to like Yeah, let's go to dinner with stuff. everybody. Yeah, like everybody's bringing their kids, it's fine. But no. Ours is just He's just different. different and uh That's the way he is and we just now roll with him. Sorry, we realize that we boring. had a kid and we are going to help him thrive in life by you know. Look for something more entertaining. I see something. Hold on. You sit right Get here. Get some tools. Person. That's what I'm going to do is grab these. But anyways, once we kind of narrowed in all of the tips and tricks to help him flourish, he's been doing so good. He's like the most amazing little boy ever. I'm yeah. so happy with he's him. He's the best. And he's so also 19 months. 19 months yep. now. The, the two under two thing though, like that whole factor is uh, significant, but it's like going from zero to one baby is a massive deal. Going from one to two babies, still a big deal, but I would say it's definitely uh, not anywhere near as serious. Yeah. Anywhere near as life changing. Yeah, because you're already doing you're already doing the same stuff. Yeah. You're already doing naps, diapers, like not saying that that's like the hard part, but and I don't know. You're you still know, in it. You're in the thick of it. And you're whoever you're with, you know, you guys are both on the same page of how to operate or how to manage a baby. Honestly, so I think that helps a lot. Having you, like, I don't know if I was ever with someone that was just our relationship wasn't as strong as it was yeah. i feel like i would be we, we talk about that all the time, all the time. <laughs> if you i mean i just can't imagine raising a baby with uh, fundamental relationship issues like i think mm -hmm. if someone's watching this that doesn't have a kid that would be an important thing to say is that the most important decision you'll make in your entire life is who you have a child with is seriously something that i firmly believe is a fact we get along really well and I can't imagine if we didn't because the pressure that yeah. kids put on every situation just would multiply any issues we had. Seriously. Yeah, like it, it makes you, it, for it's some crazy. reason it just can drive you insane. Like if a kid won't stop crying for an hour and 
I just breathe wrong, it might make Maddie mad in some instances. So if I really did something wrong, you know, or same same to her, like if I'm just in a situation where Rip and I are just at battle, then open. <laughs> he's got open. He's got Allen wrenches. T handle Allen wrenches in his Crocs right now. <laughs> I'm just saying if sometimes Rip can drive me to insanity and it's like you think everyone else is uh, just not helping and I think like makes you crazy. The best part about having two under two or just like babies close in general or even having a second, I just feel like I laugh at so many things because I'm like, of course this is going to be happening to me. Yeah. So like when you come home and you're not in parenting mode yet and you're like, oh my gosh, like Rip won't stop crying or fussing at this. Yeah. I'm like, it's okay. You just like laugh it yeah, off. Yeah, it is hard to transition to that. <laughs> but sometimes. it's good to have like. Because even when I get upset, you kind of like hump ground me almost. And then you all do done? The same to you. All done? Yeah, I, I totally agree with that. And the transition can be tough as a dad. You're good. The transition can be really tough as a dad when you uh, walk through that door and you've been dealing with some stuff because the problems we deal with, you know, 30, 40 employees, it's. It's got its own set of challenges. And then to switch to such small problems, right? Like Rip wants a toy and he can't have it and he's losing his mind about it. Like that's such a small problem to me in my eyes, but in his perspective, it's like, it's his whole world. So I gotta help him out and I gotta try and transition mentally to that. And with two kids, it's just harder. Mm -hmm. I think that kids, have the ability to bring especially your wife from the highest highs to the lowest lows really fast and it <laughs> sucks not being there yeah. when it happens and then when you are there sometimes it's it's like hard to see it's, it's in progress right mm -hmm. like I can sometimes I don't catch it early enough when Rip is just like taking you down to rock bottom and uh, I've like Try to adapt to recognizing him doing that. Hold on. <laughs> it's okay, you can have him. Is that it? Let him explore. Yeah, he can't open it. Shake it. Shake, shake, shake. So, 202 has been great oh, overall, nice. though. We're really happy. Just, yeah, a third in this mix? I don't, I don't know about that. I'm just going to put that out there. Um, I don't know how people do three under five. I think that's like the next one. Thank you. But uh, I just couldn't imagine juggling three. Thank but you. I know it is possible. But I feel like for our lifestyle, like I want to go back to traveling with him, not being selfish at all. I'm just saying, like I want to get back to even like going to the shop with you. I don't know, working on merch stuff. A little bit more because yeah. I feel like I've lacked in a lot of areas with that. Well, um, I mean, I'm trying, understands. but I just feel like a third would just yeah. rile us all. <laughs> we're definitely taking a couple years off. Yeah. We back to back to it, and now we're like, to be honest, slower roll. I might as well just tell them hmm. we had a pregnancy scare right after, like, it was not I even. Guess, I guess it's two weeks ago. Yeah. And during those times when we were wondering if Maddie may be pregnant again, it really set in stone. We don't want it. How much we don't want that to happen. If it happens, great. Yeah. Absolutely great. We we will we'll That's our fault. That. We're gonna do it, you know, and with with a smile on our faces. Because that's a blessing no matter what. But yeah. At this moment in time, we're going to try to prevent having any children. Yeah. Any more children. Any more. Because we love our two. So, it's just, uh, I hope that everybody who's at home knows this process is insane. Having kids is way different than any life experience you can get mm -hmm. without them. So, whether oh. you're at... I was going to say, although it's like amazing and great, there are some times where you look at each other and we're like, what, what have we done? Yeah. Yeah. Like I mean, it's so, it's so scary at the same time. That's, and I'm a mom or 
That's I'm a fast. girl that I've wanted to be a mom for, since I was like 18. Yeah. And I'm like, this is all I wanted in my life. And then I got it and I'm like, oh my gosh. It's like, what have I done to my, <laughs> I mean, my life? Yeah, it's, it's really I've hard. I've had a lot of those moments. You have to be like so selfless. Yeah. And it's really hard. So now I feel like with two, I just want to get back to traveling with both kids when they're older. Yeah. Like, I think it's going to be so much easier. Yeah, with now just that two. we're, we're <laughs> going enjoying, to Disney. We're enjoying like Rip's yeah. age right now so much. We love it so much. He's so cute mm -hmm. and he's talking to us. And like, when I come home and he goes, Dada, the moment <laughs> I come through the door, like there's nothing better than that. I don't know yeah. what it's called when it just, but it just releases every endorphin in your head. And it just like makes you so happy. But also like, there's a lot of rock bottom moments. So it seems, you know, mm. when you're just on, you're just having that some days with them. I think whether you're at rock bottom while you're watching this video or while you're at that moment where you're, everything's perfect, like, just know that everybody has to deal with it. There is yeah. no perfect family in this world. There's certainly no perfect children. It's just, uh, it's a process. And it's a, it's a freaking hell of a process. <laughs> it is. It's way harder to build than a race car. <laughs> <laughs> that, I mean, I don't know anything about a race car, but. Yeah, it's, it's been fun. Yeah. Right now we're having a great day, but you know, it's like Catch if, on a if bad all day. of a sudden he doesn't <laughs> nap, if he takes a five minute nap at oh. lunch, then all of a sudden I can tell you we're gonna have a bad night. It's just, yeah. so. I'm just hoping he gets to that age here soon or like that little cliff where we're gonna go off and he's gonna be so easy going, with, like just going with the flow. I mean, right now he's like I know, I don't on his it. own. So we're just, we're really happy. He he was the kid that you could never put down. Never. Velcro like you baby. set him down, crying, wailing. She's a little angel. A little Velcro but baby. But she's too, but. she's still sometimes you know. But she should be. Held. She's little. She's three months. Yeah. So it works. It's been uh, it's been amazing. Yeah, and I love seeing like both of our personalities come through because like sometimes Rip will do something. I'm like, dang it. He's being dramatic, that's me. <laughs> and, <Yeah>. then, <laughs> like, sure. and then sometimes he's all business. Yeah, he's super serious and I'm like, that's you. <laughs> this I know is, you uh, probably don't see that side of Garrett being like super serious, but you do get that. And I love yeah. that you get to see it through him because you're probably like humbled a I'm little bit. like, how more. annoying. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> Arguing with yourself. One thing that I'll say is like my favorite part of Ella. Hmm. Of having Ella, I guess. My favorite part of 202. Gosh, I wish this was earlier in the video. Some people might not get to hear this part, but whatever. When we just had Rip, Maddie had all of her time for Rip. And that was... That allowed me to just, you know, work and be here and, you know, hang with them and work. In the beginning, I changed a lot of diapers and did all that. But I'd say more towards, like, 10 months nine to ten months and up till when we had Ella, Maddie was doing almost all of Rip's care. Oh, like, yeah. I didn't really do much of his care. I, I spent a lot of time with him, but, like, just because she had such a dialed-in process, she'd give him his bath, she'd put him to sleep for his nap, and, you know, at night, I'd, like, wake him up and stuff, but that's the easy part. Like, waking him up, or, you know, waking up with them is easy. Putting him to sleep is much more difficult, especially in his circumstance where he, she had these processes where she'd rock him to bed and it was kind of like no one else could do it because they were so tuned in. Well, when we had Ella, wait, I... Wait, let me back you up. Okay. When I went into labor that night, that was the last time I put him down. And from that moment, yeah, you have yeah, done so everything. When we had him. Ella, I was... But I, I didn't have a choice to take over Rip's nighttime routines, you know, his nap routines, all that stuff. And uh, that has been like the best thing ever for me. I probably would have never dove into it besides because of Ella Bean, Ella Bean. making me do it. Because 
<laughs> because you need mommy. Yeah. Yeah. And so now that Ella Bean has uh, forced me into that position, I love it. Like I put, I read books to rip every night. I bathe them every night. I put them down every night. And uh, him and I spend so much more time together. I can read him so much better. I used to be like, is he hungry? You know, like what? what's going on? And yeah. she would just, she would just handle it. But now because she's so occupied with Ella, I am totally connected to him. I know, I and love it's, it. that's been so awesome for me. I wish I had done it sooner, but because of the way that I am, like I focus on the things that uh, I have to get done and not so much the things that like I should be doing. And hello. Also, I kind of feel like- Put me in that position, happy. Yeah. But I also feel like you didn't have a lot of experiences with other little kids. Like you didn't have little kids in your family yeah. or my family. So like your, your experience with little kids was kind of slim to none. Mm -hmm. So you weren't really comfortable doing all of that. And you also had other things going on. Like there were big things happening with the business and everything. And I yeah. obviously want you to focus on that stuff. I got my job. I got my office yeah. over here. I mean, if you statistically, <laughs> so we've, like, we've grown more in the last two years since we had it yeah. than the years before that. Mm -hmm. So it's, I know. we've you definitely know. been making moves on all, all, all accounts. Levels. So it's uh, been a ride for sure. I just can't wait for more. Yeah. Family is the most important thing for sure. You're gonna get me choked up. I know, I'm, cry well, here. I'm watching him do a bop over there, he's so cute. So. I swear I'm not crying. <laughs> <laughs> I know we're kind of blabbling at this point, so I think we should, we should cut Probably it off. Cut but it. Families. Oh, also I know, ever. I get messages about the dogs. They're still here, they're still kicking. Yes. They're gray. Holly, come here. Skip. You wanna see Holly's gray face? Yeah. They're a little gray, and okay, I will say Wait, the whole. You guys oh, know we were full blown like dog parents, Look at and then gray we brought face. home little babies, and it's definitely changed. Look I think they've definitely been face. stressed out because Rip chases them around all the oh. time. Yeah. We try not to let it. Happen. Yeah, I know. This is Holly but, and Skiff. You know. Rip loves Skiff and Holly. Like, actually, is. Definitely a, a dog him. boy. Yeah, he's a dog boy for sure. So we're happy about that, but they're still here and they're happy. Their birthday's coming up in seven July. And, they're seven and eight, right? Seven and nine. Skiff's nine? He's gonna be nine. Is he really? Wait, yeah. Oh, wow. So You're an old boy, old. Skiffy. I know, he doesn't act like it. He's outside with Rip all the time. <clears throat> yeah, Holly's Chasing more of squirrels. An, Holly's more of an air conditioning gal. She's a condo dog. <laughs> so <laughs> penthouse dog. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, on the other side of our family, we have four thousand squirrels in our backyard. Oh. So we can't forget about them. And Sheldon the turtle. And we four thousand, maybe five thousand squirrels by this week because they everything on our property is pregnant. Maddie's been pregnant for the last decade. Our um, we birds. Just, we just saw our turtles mating. Yeah. The other lizard. day. Liz, we, there's turtles mating. Lizard. There's lizards mating. The squirrels are... Their population is exploding in our backyard. <laughs> it's Not unbelievable. It's unbelievable. I, oh, wait. Hold on. We have the um, sandhill cranes, too. They had their babies. Every single time I've been pregnant, they've been pregnant. Ripper. They've had... Babies. Come here. Last time we had um, a set of twins. She's talking on the phone. So cute. It's a remote. All right. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we're rambling. So. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching our family update, and uh, we hope to do these more often. I think I said that last time, but we're gonna do them more often. Yes. <laughs> and I don't have to edit it, which is really nice. Yeah, that's always a good thing. Goodbye. Bye. 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 <laughs>